Good morning. Today we're going to do a little demonstration. So right now I want you to predict what will happen to the mass registered by the scale when I put my finger in the water. So in a moment, you're going to watch a video of me putting my finger in the water. And I'm going to be very careful not to touch the sides of the beaker. I'm only going to touch the water. Right now, the mass as registered by the scale records 358.55 grams. That's the mass of the water in the beaker. And the question is, what's going to happen to that mass? What's going to happen to the 358.55 grams when I put my finger just in the water? Is it going to A, increase, B, stay the same, or C, decrease? Please pick an answer now. All right, I hope you selected one of those answers. Let's see what happens. Dun, 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 dun. Well, the answer was A, increase. In fact, it increased by over three grams. It went from 358 to 361. And the question is why? Well, key to understanding this is to recognize that balances do not measure the force of gravity. Instead, balances record the normal force. Notice right now that the balance is recording the mass of the magnets to be 82.86 grams. Let's press down the magnets and see what happens. Notice that the mass has significantly increased. Why is that? Well, pressing down on a substance applies a downward force. Notice we have two forces acting downwards. We have the force of gravity and also the force of my finger pushing down. So the scale is now recording not just the mass of the magnets, but also the effect of me pushing down on the magnets. And that's why the mass increases. There's two forces pushing down, not just the one. This is the exact same situation with the water. For my finger to displace the water, I need to apply a force. And that force has to be downwards because the water is being displaced upwards. And so in effect, when you push down on the water, you're displacing the water, and that causes the scale to record a greater mass. A greater mass because there's two forces acting downwards, not just one force. So I hope you enjoyed today's demonstration. Have a great day. Bye-bye.